Is this the factory of the future? Hi, good day to everyone. This is Arthur. And of course, this is Richard Aguilar. And welcome back again to our channel. Now, before we get started, always be sure that you click the subscribe button and push the bell icon so that you will not miss any of our upcoming videos. Factories have evolved greatly in the recent past years and decades, growing in size and complexity. And nowadays, many factories in the world are now embracing the use of automation. The application of AI and robotics are now becoming common in many factories around the world. How smart and fully automated factories are now becoming even more popular. And without further delay, let's get started with our number one. Number one is 5G technology set to bring drastic changes to South Korea's manufacturing landscape. The manufacturing process is monitored by cameras that take dozens of photos at a time to scan for defects while the products are being assembled. If workers want to take an extra look at the products for better quality control, they can use VR scanners to thoroughly skim through the components and the production equipment in real time. The use of 5G technology isn't just limited to ICT sectors, as it is currently being applied to robots that will be used in the shipbuilding industry. The system developer, Katie, says, once commercialized, the bots will be deployed at their factories and to their docks to monitor an array of operations. Number 2 is World Factory Embraces Intelligent Manufacturing Situated in South China's Pearl River Delta region, the city of Dongguan is known for being the world's largest consumer electronic manufacturing base. But after its labor-intensive industries were hit by the 2008 financial crisis, Dongguan began its process of transformation. For instance, smartphones, a thing most people can't live without its booming and expanding information age. In 2016, nearly 1.5 billion smartphones were produced around the world, with a staggering one-fifth manufacturer in Dongguan, a manufacturing hub of apparel and technology. Number 3 is Chinese factories embrace smart manufacturing technologies. Chinese factories are embracing new technologies to make their production smarter. One of the most successful ones is the Chinese-German joint venture located at Wuxi City of East China's Jiangsu Province. Music 
the factory which makes diesel engine parts, has geared towards making high efficiency and low emission products with the help of Industry 4.0 technologies. Number 4 is Korea's Smart Factories on the Rise This logistics center sorts and delivers food products. Workers had to sort the products by hand because they come in various shapes and quantities. But these days, the items are accurately arranged to straight lines by more than a hundred sensors, while a recognition device sorts them according to data on the destination and quantity of each product. Number 5 is the automation inside smart plants. Auto components are continuously carried on a conveyor belt. Artificial intelligence is used for real-time analysis to sort out any auto parts that are substandard and have defects. Once the defective items are recognized, a robot takes them out right away. Meanwhile, an autonomous robot transports goods all over the factory. Number 6 is what it's like inside a modern, growing U.S. manufacturing company. Ivco Plastics is a leading plastics manufacturing company, with nine manufacturing facilities strategically located throughout the world, with an emphasis on design for manufacturability, strategic engineering, and innovative technology. Evco is recognized as a global leader in custom plastic injection molding. Number 7 is 5G-based smart factories to be applied to 1,000 local firms' government. The South Korean government says it will help 1,000 small and medium-sized local firms adopt so-called smart factories within the next two years. The support plan involves providing more funds to the companies to help them achieve that goal. And so, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. Once again, this is Arthur. And of course, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.